<laughs> no, just me. Hey! It's Cena. <laughs> So basically, we're gonna go through her life on reality TV mm -hmm. and talk about the highlights and the lowlights. Yo, America's next top model, y'all about to be Sheenified. What? What does it mean to be Sheenified? You know, it was a nickname that I was given in high school because I put the psh in um, everything I do. So my girlfriend just started to say, oh my God, you just got Sheenified. <laughs> so I ran with it, you know? Yeah. But the funny thing is I spell it differently than everybody else. They spell it F-I-E-D. I spell F-Y-E-D. You're fied. You have on a sparkly dress and it's sexy and it's like, come to me, boy. Mm -hmm. So you need to model like you have on jeans and a t-shirt and some Timbaland boots. Playing the opposite of what you have on makes a picture so much more interesting. It takes the obvious away. What was it like to work with the E.T.? I mean, Tyra. <laughs> oh, phone home, woman. <laughs> no, um, in part, you know, it's really brief meeting with her. She's very, very brief. Um, she does like to give you a lot of information in terms of how you're performing. But in all honesty, in the real industry, I don't think that all of that's necessary. Either you got it or you don't, or liked or you're not you know, plain as day. But I appreciate her for putting her, you know, two cents in and trying to give advice that way. But I know that, you know, I know you chose me for a reason. You chose me to nitpick certain things based on, you know, my characteristics and whatnot, so. Yeah. Um, although I, I thought that piece of advice was actually kind of uh, interesting, potentially useful, right? I mean, as far as the, the things that she spouts at the girls, that was actually seemed like something plausible and doable. Right? If you're really trying to model, if you really are part of the Tyra program, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm speaking within the reality of the show. Yeah, definitely. Was there, like, I sense maybe a little bit of um, disdain or, like, what was the experience positive for you? It was definitely positive. I have no regrets, you know. But with Tyra, what you see is what you get. Simple as that. Well, it's interesting because she's often called out for being fake. What you see is what you get. Hooch! That's our code, right? Double hooch. Am I really that hoochie? I need a mirror. <laughs> How annoying is Jay Manuel? You know, that was the first photo shoot. That was the first time I'm, you know, well, the first time I get to interact with him. And can I just say, they did it to me again. He told me to grab the gas pipe or the hose. Why would they do that to me? Yeah. Set up, set up. Yeah. <laughs> It's awfully phallic. Obviously, because you know, how would you just come out the blue and you don't even know me? You're gonna go, don't make a hoochie for me. <laughs> well, I mean, what was that like though? Like, was that because it's kind of an insulting thing to be called, right? I mean, yeah, I would prefer the term, you're being too sexy, Sheena. Can you not be as sexy when you're taking a photo? Can you do it a little bit more model esque would be the more appropriate manner. But to use the term hoochie, it's that's ghetto. You know, you guys are using the ghetto linguistics here, not me. Yeah. So, who's really doing what? I'm like the stereotypical white person. Oh, what's understand. that? I don't really like that music. Like, I'm not really loud. I'm not like gonna walk in the room just like, hey, like scream. Like, I'm so ignorant. Just because I'm black, I don't walk around like this all day. Was Hannah a racist? You know, it's very, very hard to say. I won't say yes or no, but I just know that she was very uncomfortable around certain girls and like, you know, us especially. And that comment, I think, says it all. Because a lot of people have been saying racist things about me because they were ridiculing my accent. You know, I could turn the ghetto on and off, you know, don't get me wrong, there's a time and place for it. But it doesn't take away from who I am as an Asian American. I'm very proud of that, you know, and I think people misunderstood me in that sense. Yeah, it's, it's, I find any sort of talk about, like, um, whenever people decide to, like, say, oh, you sound black or you sound whatever, it's just, it, they bring so much baggage to that. They bring so much of their own beliefs that they're imposing upon you, and it's, it's never a good look for them. It, it definitely, you're absolutely right. And that's, that's what comes down to stereotypes, and that, that's what classifies you as a racist, because you don't judge a person by how they talk or how they look or how they dance like a black person or how they talk like an Asian person. There's no such thing. It's a person, you know, with characteristic traits. For sure. You know, just because I'm Asian don't mean I have to walk around like this all day. <laughs> Are you 
breasts fake? No, ma'am. <laughs> They're just really big. No, nah, it's not about the size. They are so placed. Did you think that you were gonna, like what was going on, th what was going through your head at that point? Did you think you were gonna just say it and that would be over? Wow, everything happened so fast. You know, that was like a question out of nowhere. Yeah. And um, usually I'm prepared. But off of um, initial reaction, of course I'm going to be in defense because it's like, well, excuse me, that's a very, very uh, it's a personal question. You know, I'm not over here saying, well, are your, is your nose real, you know, or have you had Botox? I mean, that's the same question. And it's like, if you really want to ask me something personal like that, you step to the side. You take me to the side and we could talk, you yeah. know, and I'll recommend some doctors for you. <laughs> But yeah, this is something I did for myself, and I'm very happy with them. Look, they look good. They do. They look good, they look and great. they feel good. <laughs> and they just mad because they their boobs are down to here. But like you wouldn't eat your cat, but you'd eat a bird. And then vegetables and plants alive also. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Uh, that is that the stupidest the best thing I've ever even. heard. So Alina, <laughs> bitch or total bitch? I love Alina. Really? <laughs> I do because um. In the beginning, we got to hit it off really well. You know what it is about Lena like? Her honesty. She knows she's a bitch. I can talk to her straight up. I could tell her, she's like, well, how do you see me? And I'm like, girl, I think that you are really um, self-absorbed and you can be really arrogant and you know, you can come off as a real stifling bitch. And she goes, I know, I'm trying to work on it. You know, I left my mark. There's never gonna be another Sheena. And I really don't feel that I lost anything. I just feel like it's the beginning more than the ending and I'm not gonna be forgotten. So I really wasn't upset, you know, I just, I had my run. I made it to Amsterdam for free. Yeah. <laughs> and I was on vacation. Yeah. I was done. That was my cue. Bye, Tara. I'm out. I'm going to be in my hotel room, lounging. Oh, just having a good time and enjoying Amsterdam. And I got to see a, I got to see a lot of places and have fun. So, no no complaints here. All good. Yeah. All yeah. good. I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll begin and end our classroom with a questionnaire made famous by the formidable Bernard Pivot and amended by my ass. What is your favorite word? Uh, my favorite word is love. What is your least favorite word? I say it all the time, but fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, no, you know, that's something to think about. I love these questions, by the way. My least favorite word, racist. I, I would stick with fuck. What is your favorite curse word? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was your least favorite. I like bitch. Yeah. That's my bitch. What sound or noise do you love? Oh my gosh, I love the sound of the ocean. I love the sound of children's laughter. Uh, it's so pure and so innocent, you know. I love the sound of... Like, you know when the rain's really soft and it, it just trinkles on the floor? and it just rushes, it's like, it's like so um, flowy. Just, just, okay, I'm getting real weird, aren't I? <laughs> no, I'm it's good. I'm Keep serious, going. I'm what do you dislike most about your appearance? Hmm, that I look hoochie. <laughs> <laughs> um, in honesty, I wasn't very happy with my nose, but I love it now. Good. Yeah. My mama always used to tell me, your nose is too fat. Well, I'm sorry, but I am half you. <laughs> so look at yourself. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> don't be mad because I'm young and I'm your daughter and you don't have it. No, I'm playing, mama. I love you. I love you. No, I'm sorry. I'm Who are your favorite writers? My favorite writers? I love Maya Angelou. She's one of my favorite poets. I love Emily Dickinson. I also love the writings and philosophy of Buddha and Taoism, to be honest. Like, I, I always like Taoism too. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive? Oh. <laughs> hey, Sheena! <laughs> How you doing? I love what you do with the like the gifts that yeah. you make. Oh my I god, gifts, yeah. I, I saved them. Yeah. I well, saved I saw them. There, that there was one over MySpace. <laughs> I was like, haters to the left. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> that was from good. I was actually the haters to the left thing I thought was a lot funnier than what I came up with. I wish I had come up with the haters to the left. <laughs> that wasn't yours? Well, I did the gift, but I didn't do the haters to the left. I did, oh. I did, um, model sexy coming out of your crotch. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that was me. Yeah. <laughs>